Hey, what's going on everyone? Misha Wilson here and welcome to my home here in the beautiful Palmas del Mar, Puerto Rico. And with that said, I have something really special planned for you here today in this video and over the course of the next few videos that we'll be releasing in this little playlist. So look, if you've been in my world for any period of time, you know the importance of firstly, building email lists and secondly, being able to monetize that email list through effective follow-up. And within this little playlist that we have coming over the course of the next few videos, that's exactly what I'm gonna be showing you, literally specifically exactly how to do, not just through email, but also multiple forms, multiple different mediums, and multiple different channels so you can go ahead and maximize your profit. This is actually a recording of an event we did a few years ago, one of our best, most kind of popular events we ever did. And with that said, I know you'll get a ton of value. And really, if you wanna learn how to monetize each and every single one, or at least the maximum percentage of leads on your email list so you can grow your business, increase your profit, and at the end of the day, make more money, you'll wanna stick around watch every single video and don't forget to give me a comment like heart and share if you get value out of this video with that said let's go ahead and dive right in and we're going to talk about how the super affiliate networks done for you system quickly and easily converts your leads into big high ticket commissions on the back end and repeat customers for you as an affiliate now also we're just gonna talk about general follow-up. So what we talk about here can be applied to your own marketing with any other product, your own information marketing business. And again, these are general strategies that will work beyond just the super affiliate network itself, all right? So does that sound good? Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. So the big four mediums that we use in order to convert our leads into sales are firstly, email marketing, Secondly, live and automated webinars. Who here is bound on one of my live or automated webinars? Third, phone follow-up. And fourth, live events. All right? And this is what we're going to touch on here, the benefits of each and how to go ahead and implement what we're, each of these four and some of the big mistakes that I see some people make. So firstly, I want to talk about email marketing, email marketing mastery, and why email is still king. All right, so I love Kate McShay. I love social media. Kate McShay did an awesome job, and uh, this event going as smoothly as you know it is, is a byproduct of Kate giving us awesome mentorship, and again, just adding an amazing amount of value to us and our business, right? And I love social media, but I also love email, and love, again, just being able to tap in and leverage the power of building your own personal email list, right? So I wanted to go ahead and share with you a couple of different case studies. So this is from Mail Munch, and they went ahead and essentially measured the effectiveness of email versus social on a couple of different platforms. So this is actually in the bottom of the actual document, but it says, in other words, if you have 2,000 email subscribers, 2,000 Facebook friends, and 2,000 followers on Twitter, this is what you'll get. 435 people will open your email when you send them an email, 120 Facebook fans will see your Facebook message when you go ahead and post on Facebook, and 40 people on Twitter will see your message who are going ahead and following you, all right? So if you know what you're doing, you get significantly higher response with email. Again, if you know what you're doing. Now, this is in the context of conversion, all right? Because at the end of the day, the only thing that really matters is you making sales with your marketing. So they're talking about higher conversion rates, and it says email marketing drives more conversion than any other marketing channel, including social media and search. According to another report, 66% of all online consumers made a purchase as a result of an email marketing message. So what I want you to understand here is, again, social media is a tool to leverage, and again, we have an amazing you know, group of rock star top earners, and they all leverage social media. Don't stop using social media by any stretch of the imagination. But again, how I look at it is that email is where you're most likely to get someone to pull out their credit card and buy with you. Social media is more of the party where you can build a relationship with them, all right? So I look at social media as a relationship building medium, and I look at email as the medium that I can actually make a sale through. Does that make sense? 
All right, so let's talk about email marketing and how you can go ahead and apply it in your business. So firstly, the two phases. Phase one is indoctrination, and phase two is daily Seinfeld emails. All right, so let's dive into each. Phase one, indoctrination. Now this is essentially where you're just getting to know your customer for the very first time. You're building a relationship with your customer for the very first time. You're letting them know who you are, and again, leading with your best foot forward. So the goals of your indoctrination campaign are firstly, to familiarize your prospect with who you are and what you're about. You'll include a little bit of your story and you wanna be clear on what you stand for and what you stand against within your indoctrination campaign. So you repel people who aren't, of course, of the same like-mindedness of you and you attract people who you wanna go ahead and work with. Two, you wanna sell your products and your services in a non-intrusive manner. So again, this is the first time someone's in your world, this is the first time someone's on your list. How do you think they'll feel if you immediately try to hammer your product and service down their throat 12 different times? You're gonna burn out your list very quickly. So you do wanna sell in your actual indoctrination campaign, don't shy away from it because again, it's one of the times that they're most responsive, but at the same time, you have to do it in a way that's not intrusive and again, doesn't repel them away from opening in the future. Third, you wanna tell them what to expect as a subscri subscriber and let them know what's in it for them when they open your emails. So you always wanna be selling the next step of the sales process. Like I've mentioned a couple times, especially in the workshop, Every step of the sales process sells the next step of the sales process. That's why you see oftentimes when I write an email, I talk about what's coming next if you open up tomorrow's email or the webinar that I'm hosting next week. I'm leaving an open loop to the next thing. Again, selling the next step. On my bridge page, I'm gonna say, be sure to check your email inbox. I just sent you an email that shows you how you can claim over $2,000 worth of bonuses, et cetera, et cetera. I'm always selling the next step. You wanna tell your subscriber what's in it for them in very clear benefits when they actually tune in to your marketing, all right? So you're gonna learn X, Y, Z, three, four times a week, I'm gonna go ahead and create YouTube videos, Facebook posts, et cetera, you know, blog posts once a week. Again, helping you to get more traffic, generate more leads, make more sales, and do so, you know, leveraging the power of systems. So you can have more freedom, right? So again, make it about them and make it about what they wanna go ahead and achieve. Number four, you wanna get engagement and set up increased delivery in the future. So how I do this is I usually get people to reply. This is a quick little hack. In those first couple of emails, if you can get engagement, if you can get someone to reply to that email, if you can get someone to go ahead and engage, reply, click, read the email through to the very end, scroll down throughout the actual email, the email delivery services see that someone opened, someone read, someone clicked, and then, then in the best case scenario, someone went ahead and replied to that email. What does that do? It tells them that you're a real person. So what do you do when you get an email from your mom, if you have a good relationship with your mom? <laughs> you open it and you reply to it. What do you do when you get an email from a marketer? You drag it to the spam folder. <laughs> Damn marketers, right? So again, we wanna categorize ourselves more in the position of someone who, again, the person who's getting the email trusts, knows, like, and trusts, and again, we wanna set ourselves up for future engagement by getting engagement at the very beginning. So I'm always trying to do that within my engagement series. So oftentimes you'll see me say, hey, let me know, you know, what your biggest challenges you're facing online between traffic, lead, sales, and follow-up. Just let me know with a quick reply. And I'll say that in the first email that I send out in an automated fashion, what'll happen? That first email hits their inbox, they reply, I immediately get engagement, Gmail says, or excuse me, all the different services says, okay, cool, this guy's the real deal. And from then on out, I'm hitting the inbox instead of the spam folder. So again, I can increase the response of my list moving forward. Does that make sense? And lastly, again, you wanna condition them to keep opening your emails in the future. So I talked about it a minute ago. Within your indoctrination campaigns, if you can include open loops to the next thing. So on day one, congratulations on opting in. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to share with you four of my best blog posts if you just open tomorrow. 
They open tomorrow. Congratulations on opening. Here's my four best blog posts. Tomorrow, I'm going to share with you the one thing that when I implemented my business changed everything for me and took me from rock bottom to hero. Be sure you open tomorrow. So do you see how every single email sells them opening the next email, which again, increases deliverability, increases engagement with your autoresponder service, tells them that you're the real deal based on patterns of behavior, and allows you to go ahead and firstly hit the email inbox, but then secondly, condition your people to actually open moving forward down the road. Because when someone does something more than once, over and over and over again, commitment and consistency, what are they likely to continue doing? That same thing, all right? So those are the goals of the actual indoctrination campaign. Again, keep it very low key, let them know what you're all about, let them know the big benefit that's in it for them from going ahead and opening, get engagement, condition them to keep opening, and that's really what I'm trying to do at a core level.